Welcome back. Hospitals across the country are dealing with other emergencies on top of the coronavirus. Team 12's Cameron Cox introduces us to one boy who got into a major accident. He was actually helped out by someone he's never met before. Take a look. First game time. Tossing the ball with his kids in the front yard, Arcadia assistant football coach Grant Sanders can't help but think about a phone call he got this past Monday. My heart sunk. I turned pale white, looked like a ghost. A million things went through my mind. His youngest son, Devin, was riding his bike with family when all of a sudden, he crashed. Bike tire just started wobbling on him and uh, started rolling. Landed on his helmet, cracked and dented his helmet, scratched it up pretty good. Thank God he had his helmet on because it would have been a different outcome. Devin was immediately rushed to Phoenix Children's Hospital. Lots of road rash fractured uh, maxilla and um, just scared mostly as a seven-year-old would be you know pretty freaked out about blood and the road rash and, and just the traumatic incident of it happening when they got back home Tuesday coach Sanders posted on social media what his son had been through that's when he got a message from Nicole Bidwell of the Cardinals she asked to uh, see if we could do a video chat at home because they they uh, have therapy dogs, uh, two dogs, Hank and Hercules, and they do uh, a lot of charity work through Phoenix Children's Hospital with those therapy dogs. So Devin hopped on a video call with Nicole, Hank, and Hercules. It was the first time he smiled in days. Then on Thursday, Nicole stopped by with some swag. So that was a huge smile on his face to see somebody from such a wonderful organization, especially in the community, reaching out to somebody that was in a traumatic incident, had a lot of pain going on, and. Uh, to bring that home was awesome. Pretty much right-handed. Devin is feeling better, despite still having trouble talking and using his left arm. That's what I'm talking about. But his spirits are up, thanks to a random act of kindness from his favorite football team. I felt like good, because I've never seen a next time it works for the Cardinals or plays for the Cardinals, so it was really fun. He is one tough kid. Now, Devin does have a few more doctor's appointments to go to next week, but he is expected to make a full recovery. As for the two stuffed animals that Nicole gave him, he sleeps with one of them. He gave the other one to his brother for protection. Cameron Cox, 12 Sports. Oh, way to go, Cardinals, and thanks a lot, Cam.